This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you some of the best ways to reduce and to optimize the storage on your iPhone. So this video is gonna help those of you who are either running low on storage, maybe you're on a 16, a 32, or even a 64 gig device and you're constantly getting the storage almost full alert when taking pictures or videos, or those of you who just want to find a way to get the most out of the storage on your device. And that includes lowering the other storage that you see in the settings. And you may be wondering how to lower. So all of these tips are going to be ones that I've personally used and ones that I know work. So let's go ahead and get right into them. So the first tip is one that may seem obvious, but pretty much anytime somebody asks me how to reduce the storage on their iPhone, it's always because they have big videos that take up a ton of storage space on their device. It's not in iCloud, it's just literally straight on their device. So the number one tip is gonna be delete videos that you don't need, or if you do need them and they're big files, offload them to the cloud, like iCloud, or to your computer. It's super easy to transfer videos from your iPhone to your computer. There's a billion programs out there. I'll link some down in the description below. But if you transfer those over to your computer, you can delete them off your phone, or once again, just get iCloud, pay for iCloud, and then you will also be able to offload those onto the cloud, and then they won't be taking up space on your device. And some of you may be asking, how do I know if the video size is big? So the number one thing, the most obvious thing is just to look for the longest videos. The longer the video, obviously the bigger the size, but sometimes you may be surprised at like two or three minute videos taking up 600, 700 megabytes. So you can download some applications like EXIF or Investigator right there. I'll have both of these linked down in the description below. Both of those will show you how big the file size of your photos and videos in your camera roll are, or you can hook your phone up and you know run a program like iExplorer or some other program and you'll be able to see exactly how big each file is on your phone. Now the next tip also has to do with video and that is to not shoot in 4K unless you have at least a 256 gigabyte device. So this is the iPhone 6S here and take a look at my storage here. I have just 16 gigabytes of storage and not much is left. I mean maybe about you know 5.8 gigabytes left of storage. So obviously I don't want to shoot video in 4K even though I can with this camera I can shoot in 4K. It does not make any sense to because if we go into the camera right here and go to record video. If you go to 30 FPS, you can see that one minute of 4K video is gonna be 350 megabytes. So if you don't have at least a 256 gigabyte device, I would recommend doing 1080p at 30 FPS just to get the most out of storage. Now the next tip is to optimize the storage for your photo. So if you go into your settings and then go down here to photos and you will see right below iCloud photos, it says optimize iPhone storage and download and keep originals. You wanna make sure that the top one is selected to optimize iPhone storage. And you can see there we get an explanation that says if your iPhone is low on space, full resolution photos and videos are automatically replaced with smaller device size versions. Full resolution versions can be downloaded from iCloud anytime. Whereas if you had it on download and keep originals, it would keep multiple versions of that same image or video. And also while we're in these settings right here, you may wanna turn off both shared albums and upload to my photo stream, especially if you don't even know what they do, you should turn them off. I do have one shared album that I actually use across multiple devices. That's the only reason I have that enabled, but I don't have photo stream enabled. A lot of this stuff will take up space, especially in your other folder. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about with other, by the way, if you go to your settings and go to general and then to storage, if you scroll all the way down to the very, very bottom, you will see system and then you will see other. And a lot of people always wanna know how to reduce the other size right there because it does usually take up a good amount of space. So when I mentioned other, that's exactly what I'm talking about. About. The next tip is to optimize the storage for your music. So if you have a lot of songs downloaded on Apple Music, you definitely wanna turn on optimize storage. So if you go into your settings and then scroll all the way down until you get to music right here, if we scroll down, you will see optimize storage right here. Go ahead and tap on that and you wanna turn that on if you're running low on space. Obviously, I'm not running low on space and I do listen to a lot of music offline, but I'd recommend if you're trying to optimize your storage space and clear up some space, you turn that on and you can have it set to none for max storage saving or you can have it set all the way up to 128 gigabytes and you can see when you select it down there it says keep at least 128 gigabytes of the music you've downloaded on this iPhone so basically once it gets to over 128 gigabytes it will just start replacing the songs that way you don't go over that threshold and you know use up all your memory so again 
put it on none if you're trying to save the most, or you could just set it to your own, you know, 16, 32, 64, or 128, depending on your situation. And while we're in the settings menu, I did also want to mention this setting right here, add playlist song. So sometimes I will add music to playlists, and that doesn't necessarily mean I want it to be downloaded onto my device. Maybe I'm making the playlist for like a certain event or maybe for other people, what I think they'll like. And I don't want that added to my library because it takes up space on my phone. So you should disable that if you don't want the songs that you add to playlists to be downloaded to your device. And of course, automatic downloads is pretty much the same thing, except for that's when you actually add it to your library. So a little bit different with the same concept in terms of saving space. The next tip has to do with Safari, and this is a big one for clearing up RAM and also clearing out a little bit of that other space inside of your settings. So all you wanna do is go into your settings and then go to Safari. And then you wanna scroll down until you see close tabs right here. And instead of manually, I would recommend if you're bad at closing out tabs to set this to after one week or after one month at the latest. I'm really OCD and I close my tabs all the time so I never have a lot of tabs open. But if you are forgetful and you have a lot of tabs, I would highly recommend turning this on because it, again, will save you RAM, your Safari will be faster, and it could clear up even a little bit of space in your other section. Now, speaking of Safari and websites, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, a platform to create your own website from scratch. And it may sound intimidating and hard when I say from scratch, but in reality, it's super simple thanks to the drag and drop builder that Squarespace has built. You don't need any coding knowledge at all to get a site up and running within a day or two, probably even less than that, honestly, if you're not a perfectionist like me. But if you've ever wanted to create an online store to sell something, or if you wanted to start a blog to write about something you're passionate about, or whatever the case may be, they have a wide variety of templates to make it super easy to get started and create a professional looking website and I don't just say professional looking website they actually do look really good and really modern you're definitely not gonna be disappointed by their templates Squarespace also has back-end analytics tools they have an SEO plugin for you to rank on Google they have an email marketing campaign so you can send out targeted emails as well and much much more to make your site not only look great but also get traffic and perform great it is definitely one of the best all-in-one platforms on the market right now and I've been using them for years so if you want to create an awesome site today head on over to squarespace.com slash Brandon Butch to enjoy a free trial and 10% off the purchase of a website or a domain the next tip also has to do with Safari and clearing out some of that storage inside of system and other in your storage settings so all you want to do for this is go into settings and then go to Safari and then go to clear history and browsing data and you want to clear out all of the data in there you're gonna have cached images you're gonna have history you're gonna have so many things built up in there, especially if you haven't done this in a long time or maybe even ever, you definitely want to go ahead and clear your history and your data. The next tip is another pretty obvious one, but it's gonna to be to listen to the recommendations in your storage settings. So if we go to general and iPhone storage, you're gonna see recommendations here. And I say to listen to these because they're gonna be different for every single person. Everybody uses their phone differently and everybody has different file sizes for different things on their phones. Like for me example, you can see I can save 14 gigabytes by offloading applications. I can save four gigabytes by reviewing my large attachments and deleting those. So definitely listen to what Apple is telling you here. It's smart. It knows what's using up the space and what you can eliminate to clear up some space. So do not ignore the recommendations here in your storage settings. And actually these recommendations just gave me a couple more tips for you to utilize. And that is to offload unused applications. This is another big one. So you don't have to do this from here. All you want to do is go to your settings and then go down to iTunes and app store. And then you will see a toggle there for offload unused apps. You could turn that on, or if you just wanted to offload certain ones go to your storage and you can see all of your applications here so if I wanted to save 3.2 gigabytes I can go into CSR racing 2 and just tap on offload application it's actually going to show you how much data is the actual app itself and how much is the documents and data so if we go ahead and offload you can see right here it says offloading CSR racing 2 will delete the app but keep its documents and data so we're going to go ahead and do that and boom, right there, we just saved three gigabytes of space. And what's cool about offloading right here as well is that it's always gonna show up in here and you can just go ahead and reinstall it very easily. So if I go down to 14 megabytes here, you'll see CSR Racing 2, and I can just go ahead and reinstall right there. Or you can go back to the home screen and all you have to do is tap on the icon. You can see there's a little cloud download right beside it. You click on it and it reinstalls it just like that. Now, speaking of applications, you should also fully delete applications you don't use often or apps that are just large in size due to the cache. So for example, I go down here to like Instagram. Instagram, 1.3 gigabytes. 
Y is at 1.3 gigabytes. So that means that there is a lot of cache built up. So what you wanna do is just fully delete the application and reinstall it if you need the space because obviously Instagram should not take up over a gigabyte of space on your device. And you'll see that for a lot of things like Snapchat, Twitter, all these have a lot of storage. They take up a lot of storage because there's a lot of cache built up over time. So you wanna delete them and reinstall it and that's gonna clear the cache and then they'll go back down to like a couple hundred megabytes. The next tip is one that I know a lot of my subscribers do, but a lot of people in general, especially in real life, do not do this and that is to upgrade your software version. Upgrade your device, update to the latest software version because every single time it seems like you will save some space. It may be only a couple hundred megabytes, but you will save space and just reduce overall storage. It could even reduce your other and your system storage as well. So update to the latest software version if you have an update available. And the final tip is basically the last resort. If nothing else works, you're gonna want to go ahead and restore your phone from your computer. Plug it in and just restore and you will you know, lose all your data, of course, but you will start fresh and then you can start managing your storage a little bit better again. It's kind of a you know last resort if nothing else works or if you just you know have it if you're overwhelmed and you're having a hard time deleting things and figuring out what's taking up space you could go ahead and do that just of course make sure you have a backup of all of your important data via iCloud and by the way you guys should all have iCloud storage like if I go into my iCloud right here you can see I have the two terabyte plan but you don't need that much it's only because I have like right around the 200 gigabytes and sometimes it goes over so I needed the next step up was two terabytes which is pretty stupid uh, but you guys should definitely have iCloud installed and definitely make sure that your photos is turned on if nothing else make sure photos is turned on and if you wanted to you know upgrade your storage or downgrade just go to manage storage right here this is where you can upgrade or downgrade your storage plan and you can see in here you also get a breakdown of what's taking up all the space inside your iCloud if you go to change storage plan right here this is where you can go ahead and yours may say upgrade there if you're on a lower plan than me but from here you will be able to I guess you got to sign in but you'll be able to see all the other plans and their pricing but iCloud is vital for saving storage on your iPhone. That's the number one thing really, but it's very obvious I didn't want to include it in this because it's so obvious. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys some tips to reduce and optimize the storage on your iPhone, regardless of the storage size of your device. I hope this video helped you out and I hope you learned at least one new thing to save some storage on your device. That's my whole goal is to just you know teach you guys at least one new thing because I know some people are going to know all these, some people are going to know most of them, but my goal is to at least teach everybody one new thing. So if you learned something new, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up or if you just enjoyed my voice in the commentary, I would also appreciate a thumbs up. But anyways, guys, also make sure to subscribe for a lot more tips like this. I do a lot of tips like this, practical tips for you to get the most out of your iPhone. So subscribe if you haven't done so already. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.